ERLC has just added interiors to civilian vehicles, but it may not be what you think. And before anyone says that I'm late to this topic, unfortunately I was slightly busy yesterday, but I'm here now to show you this and give my opinions on the update. I've been pretty lucky to actually spawn in a server with both of these at the car dealership. So first we'll take a look at the Tahoe outside. As we can see, it actually looks so good with an interior, being able to see through. Even though the detail inside is very, very minimal, just the fact that you can see inside the car, it looks so, so good. Now we use Freecam to take a bit of a look at the inside. As you can see, this car has three rows of seats. I believe it can sit seven or eight people from the looks of it, and then a very, very small boot. The chairs are very, very basically modeled. The steering wheel and center console, as you can see, this is just an image overlaid onto the model. So it's very, very basic, but I mean, it works. It does the job. But wouldn't that be cool if you could go in first person and drive around the map like this? That would be so, so cool. Look behind yourself when you're reversing. Oh, that would be that would be so, so cool. Now heading inside, we'll check out the fictionalized Mustang. One thing I do wish that they added on this model is a grill texture of the front. They did this with the Tahoe and it looks so, so much better. Anywho, uh, going into the inside, this vehicle actually has a lot more interior. You can see these sports fitted seats. Very, very nice. Um, we've got what would be, I guess, two more seats back here, but very, very little detail with those. But looking up front, look at this. We've got like a fully fully modeled center console with a handbrake, a gear shifter, we've got a steering wheel, and all of this is actually 3D modeled. Now, of course, we still do have pretty low res textures uh, on all of this, but yeah, you can see there's a lot more detail in the interior of this thing. And sitting uh, in the driver's seat, let's position ourselves where the driver would be. This is not a bad view at all. Not a bad view. I think the chair back here seems to be a bit far back. Like that's that seems like a lot of room but no this is a pretty cool view honestly now you can find these two vehicles with interiors not only at the river city civilian spawn but every place around the map in which you can either rob a car or buy a car for sale all of these markers around the map and thank you again to the interactive erc map for um this wonderful layout and being able to easily check where these vehicles spawn now, although both the Mustang and Tahoe spawn with interiors around the map, as both vehicles to rob and to purchase, when you actually rob them or purchase them, it will despawn and spawn in the vehicle without the interior. As you can see, we found a robbable vehicle around the map in the industrial district. It has an interior, as you can see, looking inside. But when we go to break in, interior is still there. Um, we just go and complete this mini game real quick. And you'd think that theoretically you could drive the car, but no. When you finish robbing the vehicle, the vehicle with the interior despawns, and the normal tire replaces it, the one that you can yourself buy from the dealership without any interior whatsoever. Spawning in the Mustang on civilian, of course it doesn't have an interior, but it does look like they forgot to remove the steering wheel. Everything else has been removed except for the steering wheel. My guess is that this was imported in the same mesh as the outside of the vehicle, I'm guessing. Now, I don't at all think that these vehicles being added to the game right now was an accident. In fact, I'm 90% sure that this has been planned out for weeks and is all a big test. Now, the PLC developers have talked many times before about how they would never add vehicle interiors. They don't really add too much functionality to the game, and all of the extra detail inside of the vehicle is going to weigh down on performance, especially on lower-end devices. So when the EOC vehicle modeler was tasked with creating the new Mustang and Tahoe, they were told to create two versions, one being the same as every other vehicle in the game, blacked out windows, no detail inside, and the other having an interior. Very basic, but an interior regardless. The developers would then put both into the game. Players can only buy and drive around the vehicles without the interior, but as well adding the variants with interiors around the map and seeing how they perform, seeing how the community responds, seeing if they actually work. Now that's my theory at least, because it would be pretty hard to accidentally add vehicle interiors to the game. And I think with the amount of people posting about this in the PRC Discord, if they weren't supposed to be there, I'm pretty sure they would have been removed immediately. So I think the big question going forwards is, Will PLC actually be adding vehicle interiors? And honestly, that's a question I cannot answer. Given before this update, it only seemed like the developers would add interiors to buses or command units, vehicles that wouldn't be spawned too commonly, and even then, the detail is minimal. But what I can say is that it's promising. If the developers are trialing out interiors, seeing how they perform, seeing how the community responds, then that's a really good sign. 
And if they do work well in game, we could possibly see these introduced to more and more vehicles when they get fictionalized or remodeled. I'd love to hear your thoughts about this in the comments below. Do you think vehicle interiors will be coming to the game anytime soon? And if so, how would the game perform? I'm guessing there would be a similar setting to games like Law Country, where you can actually disable vehicle interiors via your client's settings. Make sure to subscribe for more content on this channel. I'm very excited to see what the future holds for vehicles.